sign, swan, and wheat. I am Mr. ITK with my friend Mr. RMS. We are going to tell you about the producer gas, which is used as a fuel in the industries. So, let's start now. Okay. Producer gas is made up of hydrogen, nitrogen, and carbon monoxide. It is a low calorific fuel gas, which is calorific value of 1200 to 1600 kilocalories per meter cube. You can see the hydrogen comes from if you use steam blast. We will uh, study about the steam blast later on. It is mainly produced from coal or nowadays we are using also biomass. So this production of gas we will use two types of vehicles. First is to use only air blast and another to use steam blast. We will compare both methods and we will find out that which is best and when to use which method. So we will look at first at air blast. Air blast. In this we will feel only air in the gas fire and we will see which reaction happens. So the first reaction which is going to happen for its combustion that is what you know carbon burns with oxygen and produces carbon dioxide which is not needed but what happens now it releases enormous amount of energy you can see it can produce the temperature over a thousand degrees and operating condition and generally the temperature becomes 1300 to 1800 in the old gas reaction so what happens now the carbon dioxide is produced Next, the carbon reacts with carbon dioxide to produce carbon monoxide and it is endotomic reaction. So, energy will release in this reaction and will be used by this reaction because it is endotomic reaction. Here, this reaction is of importance. We have to analyze this reaction because this reaction is an equilibrium reaction. Look at here. Carbon plus carbon dioxide is in equilibrium with carbon monoxide and in every equilibrium reaction we have to get atmosphere. As you know that in this endothermic reaction, high temperature will be favorable for this reaction because as we increase the temperature it will try to decrease the temperature and as the, temp as the reaction will increase and the carbon monoxide yield will increase. Secondly, one thing should be remembered that when the carbon will burn, when the coal is burn, it will produce ash. Ash should not have a freezing temperature lower than 1100 degrees Celsius because it will fuse and it will make clean course in the cooler part of the gasifier and it will disturb our own reaction. And other thing which is of most important is that thick lumps of fuel should not be used will simply create un-uniform fuel bag and this will disturb our reaction. So it was all about the air blast and here we will get carbon monoxide CO and other one is the steam blast in which we mix steam with air and we can increase the temperature of air with the force stream. But why we use steam blast? We will first look at it and after that we will summarize what's the benefits of this and what are the advantages of this so go ahead in the steam blast as you, as you know steam will be mixed with air and, uh, and will be used in the orchestra so two reactions this will occur means carbon plus oxygen will give you carbon dioxide and carbon plus carbon dioxide will give you carbon monoxide CO but due to steam due to water addition 4 reaction will occur and you know what are these reactions this reaction are basically first one is very important to produce hydrogen which is carbon will react with water and this will give CO and hydrogen this reaction temperature occurs at a temperature more than 1000 degrees Celsius but another reaction of same type can occur in excess stream and which is carbon plus two more of hydrogen will give you carbon dioxide and hydrogen so this carbon dioxide will 
degree Kelvin. For this reaction, the temperature is 500 to 600 degrees Celsius. So this reaction will occur, may occur at the cooler part of the gasifier. As we go up, the temperature decreases, and this reaction we can occur there. Another two side reaction may also occur in the presence of steam, which is may not be required. The one which is carbon monoxide can react with water to produce carbon dioxide and hydrogen. Our carbon monoxide will be converted into carbon dioxide at the upper level in the case of the when we discuss it. And other important reaction which is carbon will make methane on the reaction with hydrogen. This methane will increase the calorific value of our gas. That's why steam blast is somewhat more useful and it gives more calorific value than air blast. Now we have reached at the final position. In this section, we will discuss about the gasifiers. A uh, gasifier is used for producing differential gas, producer gas. In this, the fuel may be a biomass for as we discussed earlier, and the reactive agent is steam or steam gas. Gasifiers are basically of three types up draft, down draft, and cross draft. In this section, we will discuss about the up draft. What does this mean? Basically, the fuel direction and the reactive agent direction are opposite, the counter curve. The temperature decreases gradually as we increase in height. The steam, the reactive agents, comes from here in the bottom. And the coal is added, coal or biomass is added from here. As you can see, in the case where there are different zones, basically they are the zones of the reaction, where different reaction occurs due to different level of temperatures. Here the temperature is largest and as it decreases the temperature range may be 1300 degrees Celsius to 1800 degrees Celsius depends on the biomass flow. So the steam is coming here. Here the first zone is the H zone. As you can see here H for fuel. Basically upper here in the oxidation oxidation zone is the main zone where the reaction occurs less carbon burns with oxygen or air here carbon dioxide is produced releasing a lot of energy this energy comes here in the primary reduction zone where an endothermic reaction takes place what is this? as we know that carbon dioxide plus carbon carbon dioxide comes from here Carbon is also here because they have fuel bed and the carbon monoxide which is needed is produced. In the case of steam gas, carbon will react with water and it will give the carbon monoxide and hydrogen, which will to increase the calorific value. Here in the next zone, which is known as the secondary reduction zone, here the excess steam can decrease the carbon monoxide content by this reaction. This will occur in the secondary reaction zone. And now it comes our gas monoxide comes here in the drying and carbonizing zone. Here what we do? Actually to increase the calorific value as I told earlier that producer gas with a low calorific value. To increase its calorific value somewhat we add some reactive Reactive volatile matters. These are the volatile matters are added here to increase the calorific value. Finally, our gas comes in the up topmost part. But here, decreasing calorific value of our gas occurs. But why? As I told you, that uh, the reaction, this, the equilibrium reaction, carbon dioxide plus carbon, here carbon monoxide is a reversible direction. 
at, at this condition as the temperature is low enough then irreversible reaction may occur when the monoxide is not removed early as it will accumulate here and the irreversible reaction may occur and the calorific vapor may decrease because the monoxide is not formed here so these are the reaction occur and the product will be taken from here and the gas is back up to here so in this way we can see that the composition of producer gas changes over when it started from here and it came here so it comes to change thanks for watching this video and uh,